For the highest DPS possible, you're going to need a manual blade and a vital tool handles. Give it a diamond and a netherite upgrade, as well as sharpness 5, cookstrike 2 and fiery 2 to get the best general purpose sword in Tinker's Construct. There is no strongest sword in Tinker's Construct. Every sword has its own use depending on the material it is made of and the upgrade it is given. The sword I'm about to show you focuses entirely on maximizing DPS to all mobs, however, there are other options depending on what you're looking for. If you need a sword for really big modded dungeons and require crowd control then knockback and sweeping edge are your best bets. Killager is good against illager invasions, and cooling helps a lot in the nether. On a similar note, to help out in your boss lane endeavors, anti-aquatic and smite are good against the LA Guardian and the wither respectively. However, I'm completely disregarding all these nuances and today I'll show you how to make the strongest general purpose sword that'll always loyally serve by your side. As its materials, I chose manual for the blade and a while for the two tool handles. Manual is alloyed from cobalt to molten debris in a foundry using blazing blood. It has the highest base damage of 3.5 and the insatiable quirk that grants plus 2 damage after 8 consecutive hits. Of course with this powerful of a sword no mob is going to survive 8 consecutive hits, but it's still good against a big group or a mod at boss. Nawaddle is considered a tier 3 material however it's incredibly easy to obtain. To make Nawaddle you will have to pour obsidian over a wood plank or a tool part, in our case being the tool handles. I chose Nawaddle because of its attack damage modifier of 1.3, the highest in the game boosting the sword's base damage to 9.45, already more powerful than any vanilla sword. What makes it even more powerful is Nahuatl's quirk, Lacerating. By giving it the two Nahuatl tool handles, it basically made yourself a bleed build. Don't forget to level Arcane. Next, add all the slotless upgrades that give bonus abilities and upgrades, then trade the two abilities for upgrades using two golden apples. To begin truly tinkering with your sword, give it one diamond and one netherite for some extra damage and durability. Next, give it 180 quartz, which is almost 3 stacks to achieve sharpness 5, then 144 amethyst, which is roughly 2 stacks and a half, or just over half a stack of amethyst blocks. Amethyst is required for speed, writing you plus 5% attack speed per level. Lastly, add 50 blaze powder to give your sword the equivalent of fire aspect 2, and now you've become unstoppable.